We're going to take a few minutes today and talk about reading a fractional ruler. Um, up here, this is the fractional side of the ruler. Now, most everybody has been taught this method right here. You have a pie, you have half of a pie, break it down into quarters, then eighths, and so on and so forth. A ruler is much the same thing, but laid out in a rectangle rather than a round. So let's say this is an inch. You have a half inch. You have quarters of an inch. You have eighths of an inch. And then finally you have sixteenths of an inch, which are the smallest units we're going to be working on uh, in this demonstration. The ruler is much the same thing. You can see just like our demo right here, the ruler starts at zero, which is going to be right there and it continues on indefinitely in this demonstration six inches. So we're going to talk about this area right here. That's one inch. Now, when you start breaking it down into the fractions, this is where you're going to get confused. The easiest thing to think of or to look at is this ruler is broken down in one sixteenth of an inch increments. That means in every single inch there are 16 lines. You got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And that carries on with every single inch in this. Every inch has 16 lines in it, or it's broken down into 16 equal increments. Uh, if you write it, it's 1 16th of an inch. Uh, now next, if you want to figure out how you're measuring something, all you have to do is count the lines. So let's say I want to measure this length right here. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that distance right there is seven over sixteen. Seven out of sixteen. Let's say I want to measure this distance right there. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14 out of 16. Now 14 out of 16, we got 14 lines out of 16. This fraction can be reduced. Um, you always want to use the uh, lowest common denominator in the fraction. So if we reduce this, it goes down into 7 eighths of an inch. Now let's say we've got this distance right here. Okay, we want to measure from there to there. There's no reason to count all the lines up to here because right there is one inch. So we're going to go one and one sixteenth, one and two sixteenths, one and three, one and four, one and five, one and six, one and seven, one and eight. So this is one and eight sixteenths, which is also one and one half when we break that down, when we reduce it. We watch this again, the demo. Uh, if I have, there's my zero, and I want to go to this measurement right here. There's no reason to count all these lines, it goes up to one. No reason to count all these lines because it goes up to two. So one, two, three, four, it's two and four sixteenths, which when we reduce this fraction, it's two and one quarter. Right there. So when you're measuring, all you have to do is count to 16. Each inch has 16 lines, and then reduce the fraction so it's in uh, the lowest common form. Stop this video, rewind, replay as many times as you need to understand fractional measurement.